بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise and thanks be to Allah, the one who created us and one who owns us and the one who is owner of our souls and our bodies. And may endless blessings be on the last and the final messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and all of his family and uh, all of his followers and the people who follow him till the last day. 15, 16 years ago when I was in 10th grade and I had a taweez on my body, and the taweez or amulet was given by my spiritual guru or my spiritual leader or the Sufi Baba or the Sufi saint. He gave me the taweez and he told me that if you wear it, then you'll be, you'll be saved from all kinds of problems and troubles. No jinn can affect you, no evil eye can affect you, and you'll be saved from black magic and no bad people can affect you. So I was under impression and I believed that taweez could save me. But one day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me and I, I was in a library and, and I don't say that it was a coincidence but it was, it was a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I caught a book. And eventually when I opened the book I found the hadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in the book which clearly and openly says what Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. He said, Man allaqa tamimatan faqad ashraq. Whoever wears taweez has committed shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, shirk or polytheism is one of the greatest sins in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushirka bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha. He can forgive any sin he wants, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive shirk that, that is associating partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever wears taweez has committed shirk or associated partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's unforgivable sin and that is not forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. And in fact in another narration in an, another hadith it's mentioned that 10 people came to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they wanted to give the Pledge of Allegiance to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they wanted to give the Bayah. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took Pledge of Allegiance from nine people and he did not take Pledge from one person. And people were surprised that why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam rejected or declined taking the Pledge from that one particular person. And upon asking, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that he is wearing taweez or amulet. And, 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 and that person had, had so much of ghira that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam disliked it so he immediately broke the taweez and he threw it away and then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took the pledge of, pledge of Allegiance and said that whoever wears the taweez has committed shirk with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And once Isa ibn Hamza radiallahu ta'ala who went to see Abdullah ibn Akim and he saw him with the fever, he saw him uh, affected with fever. So he said that why don't you hang up a taweez Abdullah ibn Hakim said that may Allah, I, I seek refuge from, uh, refuge from Allah from Taweez. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever wears the Taweez and whoever hangs up amulet, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him under the care of that thing. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take the safety or the aid from that person and that person will be entrusted to that particular Taweez or thing. So taweez is haram, it's taboo, it's forbidden, and it's disliked in Islam. And whoever wears a taweez has committed shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many people argue that you don't usually find uh, shirk written in taweez, you find Quran written in taweez. Even if we agree that Quran is written in taweez, then how will you take Quran to bathroom? How will you take Quran to washroom? How will you take Quran to, to, to the toilet? And reading the Quran will save you from the bad effects of the bad people and from the bad effects of the jinn and the, and, 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 and the black magic. But hanging the Quran will not save you, my dear friends. So this notion and this misconception is wrong that Quran can be, ro uh, can be worn on the bodies. So this one thing that wearing taweez is haram. What if you find taweez in your house? What if you, you, you have realized that Taweez is haram and taboo and you want to destroy it and you want to get rid of Taweez, then what should be done and what, should, what, what, what do you want to do then? Let me tell you how to destroy and how to get rid of Taweez. All you have to do is to take a bottle of water and uh, recite Surah Al-Fatiha and then Surah Al-Baqarah, first five ayats. 
and then Ayat al Kursi and the following Ayat of Ayat al Kursi and Surah al Baqarah Ayah 102 and the last two Ayats of Surah al Baqarah and then Surah al Zalzala and Surah Safat first 10 Ayats and Surah Ikhlas, Surah Kafirun, Surah Falak and Surah Nas recite these Ayats and then blow it over the water once you have blown take a glass or take a bowl and pour the water in the glass take the tawis and dip it in the water before dipping the tawis in the water make it into pieces tear it into pieces and then dip it in the water once you have dipped the tawis in the water the effect is undone bismillah ta'ala you can throw the water wherever you want and make sure that you throw the water where people don't usually pass by so throw the water and throw the tawis and inshallah the effect will be undone usually the tawis has uh, numbers written in it and and those numbers belong to particular race of particular jinn so it's better that you get rid of tawis as soon as possible and the people who write tawis are the black magicians and the people who who are the fortune tellers and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forbade us going to these people and in fact prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that those people who visit the black magicians and the fortune tellers and believe them has reject have rejected what came down on prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that means uh, they have rejected Islam. So it's forbidden in Islam to visit the black magicians and the fortune tellers. And it's also forbidden in Islam to wear taweez. It's haram in Islam. And if you have worn taweez, then it's better chance for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you a chance uh, for you that you, you should realize your mistake and get rid of the taweez as soon as possible. Rely and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No harm can touch you except the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no benefit can touch you except the will of Allah subhanahu ta'ala and once you wake up in the morning re, uh, uh, after after the fajr prayers recite quran and after reciting quran you have the morning and evening dhikr and athkar you have the morning and evening prayers so you, you'll find that in the fortress of the muslim uh, the, a, a, a book uh, fortress of the Muslim, you find these duas in the books, just recite it in the morning and the evening, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save you from the shar and from the evil of the, of, the, of, the, of the bad people and their bad effects. And share this with your friends and family and with your acquaintances so that they, they get to know that it's haram in Islam and people are under impression that it's permissible, it's not permissible in, in, in any way. So teach them, educate them academically that wearing taweez is haram and try to get rid of it as soon as possible. With this, I end this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.